My friends were going down a, a different path. I didn't want to do it, but not because of Christ. Um, in the sense of, you know, drugs, alcohol, sex, all this stuff that was going on around me. And I'd been, I didn't brought all this stuff and had the opportunity to, to do all. I flirted with some of it and I just broke down one day. You know, being away from home, I got in a lot of trouble drinking and, you know, girls and being uh, really immature. And then the second year was a little better. And then the third year was kind of when everything kind of turned around. In the money, you know, from a baseball perspective, I started understanding. I had lost my best friend, and then I met my wife. So I kind of my focus kind of went from partying to having fun, and to realizing this is more of a serious thing, and I got to concentrate more and focus. And I wouldn't say that it was easy. You know, I, uh, when I they make that decision. It wasn't like, oh, here it is. The Lord started turning things around, you know. I think, uh, you know, there was some challenge in my life. There was some tough time in my life, and, and God would just, uh, you know, prepare me for the big things. We can chase alcohol, women, drugs, money, um, status, friendships, and you will find, like I did, that there's nothing at the end of all of those roads that's totally satisfying. I knew a little bit about God, um, but we didn't, like I said, we didn't go to church. And, and uh, so really, you know, I signed at 18 in high school to, to go play in the minor leagues. And so I kind of had to grow up pretty quick. You know, you're at 18, instead of going through a college experience, uh, maybe close to home or, or nearby, um, you're out. Um, and, and just trying to find your way a little bit. 